So a few days ago, one of our online customers sent over an email asking about the correct way to measure screws and bolts. Uh, this guy was trying to place an order online and just wanted to make sure that he was going to get the right size bolt for his application. And uh, it was a very important question because screws and bolts come in many different styles and types and uh, they certainly aren't all measured in the same way, especially if you're talking about length. So I've laid out a couple of options here and these are all pretty common. Um, got a couple sheet metal screws and a couple bolts and um, I got a couple nuts out here too just because I was going to show you how this gauge works and uh, this gauge also takes care of fractional nuts so I'll show you about that but basically uh, a good rule of thumb uh, is that if there if you have a bolt with a head like this hex head bolt here you don't include the head in the length uh, when you're when you're ordering bolts online they're, they're not going to include the head length the head in the length uh, if it's got a head like this. So you always measure from underneath the head to the end of the bolt and that will give you the correct length. That's how you identify the length on those. On a countersunk bolt, like this flathead Allen type here, you do measure the whole thing, top to bottom. Uh, this gauge um, does a really good job of doing that. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about this gauge. It's um, pretty heavy duty. It's made of quarter inch hard plastic and um, pretty much takes care of everything you need. It takes, uh, it identifies diameter as well as length. And then on the back side, it also identifies uh, your thread pitch, was, which is important because that'll tell you whether or not uh, your bolt is a, a coarse thread or fine thread. So um, it's pretty handy. I mean, pretty much every toolbox needs it. If you work with screws and, and nuts and, and bolts, uh, this thing will come in, come in real handy. So. Uh, it's also pretty affordable. I think they're like five dollars each and there's a couple of different colors uh, In fact, I think I have a blue one here too So and uh, you can just you know, we sell them on marineboltsupply.com uh, Real simply just add them to your cart and get in a bag of bolts or a bag of nuts and For five dollars. We'll throw one of those in there for you. But uh, anyway, I'll show you how this thing works um, as I said before if you have a if you have a bolt with a head on it, uh, you don't include the head in the length. So you can see here, by putting the head above where the rule starts, uh, you can see that this bolt is inch and three quarters long. If you didn't know that and you included the head, you would end up ordering a two inch bolt and then realizing when it comes in that it's too long and uh, you know could cost you some money and some time. So knowing how to do this is important. Uh, when you identify the size of a bolt it's always best to start with the diameter first because that's usually how they're identified the first part of the description is a, usually a fraction like a quarter inch or a five sixteenths or a three eighths and that's your diameter of the threaded portion so you find the hole that matches it closest and with this one five sixteenths goes right through nice and tight um, three eighths a lot of play and quarter inch is too small so you know it's you know you have a 5 16 bolt um, again on the back side you have the thread finder and you just kind of roll your bolt down until it matches up nice and perfect that one does it right here on the 18 let's see if you can see that hopefully in the video no light coming through so you know the threads match nicely uh, and that's an 18 right below so that's how you know it's an 18 threads per inch so you got a 5 16 18 bolt and that is a coarse thread bolt uh, so you now know that you have a coarse thread bolt so and then of course last is the length and we saw earlier that that was uh, inch and three quarter so this is a 5 16 18 by inch and three quarter bolt so you can correctly order that online um, same thing with the socket head it's got a head on it so you you don't include it in the length it's an inch and a quarter here you can see that's inch and a quarter it's a 3 8 it's a 3 8 diameter and on the back should be a 16 because that is a common coarse thread and it is lines up perfectly 16 threads so 3 8 16 by by inch and a half or I'm sorry inch and a quarter so yeah um, and then with the flathead like I said before uh, you do include the whole bolt in the length and this gauge has a little cutout right here just for countersunk uh, bolts and screws you just put it put it in there like that and you can see that it's a uh, inch and a quarter long uh, so you know find out the diameter 5 16 fits perfect 
see a little five sixteenths there, five sixteenths. Then on the back, of course, we've got the thread. Should be an eighteen. It is five sixteenths eighteen, just like our hex bolt is. So you have a five sixteenths eighteen by inch and a quarter bolt, and get that in the camera there, so you can correctly order that online. Uh, and this gauge does the screws as well. This is the quarter inch screw. And uh, this is a truss head screw. They kind of have a large diameter dome on top. And again, it's got a head, so it's not included in the length. So this screw is an uh, inch and a half long, as you can see right there. So you can, uh, you can order that correctly. So anyway, hopefully you know a little bit more than you did before as far as uh, correctly identifying the size of a screw or a bolt. Um, appreciate you. Appreciate your time, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email us at sales at marinebolt supply.com. And uh, have a great day.